23 Roadster. Um, Run a 350 oil? Chevy engine with a 350 right. turbo yeah. trans. Uh, Chevy 10 bolt rear end. The body's uh, a bird body. They quit making these bodies in 72. Um, it's just put together with a bunch of parts. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had it about six months. Okay, so you didn't build this? No, I didn't build all of it. I've done a lot of work to it, but I didn't build it all. Okay. That, and what? That one was built from the frame up. He built it himself. Oh, I figured you'd be asking me questions. <laughs> uh, just tell me about your vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, I built it from the ground up. Uh, started with the material, build the frame. You know, I got a body and I stretched it because I'm so tall and I only have one leg. Uh, built, rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the trans, rebuilt the rear end, painted it. How long did all this take you? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. So basically from scratch? From scratch. No kit. Wow. I don't believe in kits. Okay, so just uh <laughs> kits you're bolting somebody else's stuff together. True, true. You know, this way I I built it. I take a picture of that dash. I, I built that dash. Custom job. Yes. Not what somebody else put in their kit car. You know, it's a Cadillac tilt and telescoping column, you know. I took the shifter off the column and I put the shifter on the floor. To match the shifter the, or the the knob that moves the column. Okay. Wow. A lot of work. Oh yeah, lots of work. And how long have you owned this vehicle? Well, since I built it, two and a half years. Okay. Wow. So I like it. I enjoy driving it. Cool. Just right now I got a problem. My, my electric fan burned up on me just now. Oh, so that's why you guys are parked here. Yes. Okay. Let it cool off so we can. Because what we have been doing, we have been cruising Florida on Friday nights. Okay. Ah, all right. So there's a club in town? There's several. There's uh, the Valley Cruisers, there's the Axle Draggers. And you guys there's are... us. We're called the Wrenchers. The Wrenchers. The okay. Wrenchers. People who build or restore their own cars. And, uh... We ain't got enough money to go out and buy one that's already done. All right. <laughs> and nothing wrong with the Valley Cruisers, but that's what they do with their cars, you know? Okay. I understand. They're older, retired, they have money, they go buy a car. Okay. They take it out to the little shows. And... So which one's more fun, building your own or buying somebody else's? Oh, I enjoy your own. building. Okay. Working on it, building it. Why can't you have any pride in buy, buying something that somebody else did? Yeah, but you can improve it, can't you? Huh? You can improve it. If you have the know-how. And apparently, you do. Yes. Okay. I've been a mechanic for 30 years. Ah, okay. Between cars and airplanes. Wow. I've been doing this for 40, 50 years. I've been buying, building, and selling, and buying, and building, and selling. So it's not a hobby anymore, it's a job. No, no, no. When it becomes a job, I won't do it again. <laughs> okay. No, I retired 10 years ago and I died. I don't need okay. to work. Yeah. I've been doing cars and motorcycles for 40, 50 years. Okay. Let me back out. It's called the labor of love. Apparently. Apparently. 